Lucy Rosen's dressing room was built specifically for her by her husband, Walter. Her dresses and accessories are still in these closets. Lucy loved accessories, hats, shawls, gloves, and she loved dressing up. When the Rosens made their yearly trip to Venice, Lucy visited the showroom of Mariano Fortuny, the noted Italian designer. He would make her dresses for her theremin performances. Connected to the dressing room is the master bedroom, but we call it Lucy's bedroom since Walter has one of his own. Like the other rooms in the house, it's an eclectic mix of styles and periods. It's also a good example of how Lucy and Walter Rosen bought things they loved and found a way to incorporate them into their home. The Italian 17th century bed was once owned by Pope Urban VIII, but fully assembled, it would have been too large for the room. Mr. Rosen created alcoves for two of the finials. And he placed two of the columns on another wall. In this room, we also find a portrait of Lucy Rosen painted when she was about 12 years old. And a lovely watercolor of Lucy by Cecil Beaton, the Oscar-winning costume designer and a great friend of the Rosens. After Walter passed away in 1951, Lucy worked tirelessly to continue bringing the Caramore Music Festival to the public. And in her later years, she would often attend the dress rehearsal of a performance and then retire to her room after dinner and listen to the music through her window. Thank you for coming on this tour of the Rosen House with us. Today, Caramore continues to thrive as a vibrant cultural center and a source of inspiration for all. Visit our website for more information, and we look forward to seeing you soon at Caramore. <laughs>